I feel more gay by just watching this. I appreciate it. Welcome back, I'm Julian, and I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 1 of Pose. Uh, I am very, very excited to be doing reaction videos for this amazing show. This show is sponsored by Kiana James here on Patreon, and I am... Whew, I'm very, very, very excited for uh, this show. I, I only have heard, like, amazing things about it. Uh, I know that you guys are either on... Uh, on season two right now or season two just finished or something like that and I think has been renewed for season three as well so anyways I am excited to watch it and I hope that you guys are excited as well so if you like these reactions please please give a big thank you to Kiana for sponsoring the entire first season of Pose. Uh, also go to Patreon to watch the extended version. Uh, here I can only post the edited one. Hopefully it doesn't get like, like cut or anything, you know, I'm gonna try my best to include new shows for the channel. Pose is something that I've been hearing a lot of people asking me on Twitter and on YouTube. So I said, you know what, since I, it's already sponsored, I'm gonna uh, try my best to edit that for YouTube. So I hope that you guys like it. Uh, give it a lot of thumbs up. Like I said, support the show on Patreon uh, and, and check out the reaction there. Um, yeah, you can also uh, um, watch it here. And if you can support it on Patreon, then support it here with a lot of thumbs up, subscribing, commenting, and and uh, hitting the notification bell as well so you guys can uh, get a notification every time I upload a new reaction. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope that you guys are excited. I don't know much about the show. I'm going as blind as possible uh, to it, and I hope that you guys don't mind that. So I'm going to be probably asking very stupid questions during the uh, episode, and it's going to take me a little bit to... Uh, remember all the all the names but I will do it uh, but yeah I'm very very excited and I hope that you guys are excited as well so yeah that's it without further ado let's just begin with season one episode one of Pose <laughs> Children. What are we gonna do? Run down to Burger King and get some paper crowns? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was me. Royal House of Abundance. <gasps> I love that one. She just said that, literally. Oh, shit! <laughs> I love this. Do they have a plan or something? It's really gonna look like royalty. The queen is giving a ball! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Fierce! That's how you do it! Yes! Yes! I'm gay. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. Stop it, bitch! Oh, my God! Come on, mama! Oh, Jesus. Sometimes people see everything that we saw the first 10 minutes. It must be hard having to tell people they're gonna die day after day. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. While you hide away in the shadows, you're way ahead of yourself in the game, beast. Oh, shit. So, that's cruel, though. Despite everything, he's following his dream. The sad moment to become a star. I love that. I feel like I had the same face when I walked into my first, like, gay club. I was Executive. like, oh, everyone's yes. here. <laughs> she banished me from her home and her heart. Look at that parent I like a baby. That. I love that even Tonight despite all of that, she's still trying to fulfill her dream, which is help others like her. Let's have some fun, baby. It's so dangerous to do things like that, but... Hey. Oh. Family. So he has a family. I bet he's one of those gay homophobic people. The blue East Pack. Oh shit. It's sad that when some things like that happen for kids, you know, prostitution is the answer. Not that I judge. Anyone can do whatever they want with their bodies. You said you were. We're not hiring. 
discrimination. So what's the problem? What, I'm too much woman for you? I fucking hate that. You're not somebody I can be with. This is so fucking upsetting. High fashion evening wear. Ooh, bitch. Chiffon. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Come now. It's <laughs> For JC Penny. <laughs> oh, come on. The real world laughed at her, and now they laugh at her. That's in two days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we gonna wear? Jerry has a plan. I didn't return my application. Uh-uh, but you said you did. Wait, uh -oh. what? And you thought I would be the problem child? What if I <laughs> and don't get in? I don't even think I'm supposed to be there. Well, you're never gonna oh, find a place where you can belong if you keep on running away. What that is so true. Sure? How in the hell you think we all wound up here? <laughs> I don't come to your job knocking dicks out your mouth. So, twirl. Baby, you are our secret weapon. <laughs> be kind to one another. <laughs> How Ellen of him. <laughs> sent away <laughs> The reality is I'm having it with you. How sweet. Only if you knew. He's cheated on her. Wait, is she is she right there? I just keep imagining that. We have a oh. challenge for the legendary Ooh. children of the house of abundance. Ooh. We are the house of Evangelista. Woo! The house of Evangelista! Ooh, baby! <laughs> I love this. Woo! Damon, come on, you can do better! <laughs> Woo! Nice! Oh, my good! The house of abundance! Okay! Is it still. Hey, this is the first time, honey. I think you did great. We're sunk. That's perfect for me, though. You guys ain't shit yet, mm -hmm. but I ain't shit yet neither. Thank God. <laughs> Poppy. Little Poppy. Poppy. Oh, hey, little Poppy. I want to learn me some of that stuff. Don't leave. Uh huh. I'll be back in five minutes. Little Poppy. <laughs> I love that. It's not today. Maybe tomorrow. This was made now for him. He needs a drink. <laughs> I appreciate that, but this young man is a very special talent. He can apply in the spring. I love that she's fighting for him. He believes that it has something to do with who he is. It's like cancer. It is going to eat at him from the inside until he starts to resent even the best parts of himself. Oh, I don't want to cry. Oh, God. I don't understand what you want me to do. I'm not ready. I haven't prepared anything. This is your time life. now. Yeah. You hear me? Take it. Take it. Take it. I don't have music. Yes. I... That right there is a tape in case someone was having trouble with the technology of this age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! yes. I'm so nervous. <laughs> yes. Make them feel that. Woo! That was bold. I love this. Oh, bless. Oh, I try to when I cry. Got him. Bless. Oh my god. Family right there. Okay, guys. So that was the end of season one, episode one, the pilot episode for Pose. Man. Oh man. Oh man. I. You know. Here's the thing, I uh, didn't know what the show truly, truly was about. Um, I know Billy Porter, I think it's his name. He was part of it and he is amazing in it. Um, so of course, and you know, I think he's amazing. He's an amazing actor. He was on uh, last season on American Horror Story. He was just extraordinary he has been on another season i get i think as well uh thing is that it was just you know that is what i knew so of course also i knew that it deals with the community the lgbt community didn't know it was set in the past in the late 80s 87 actually um and uh i didn't knew that we we're gonna touch 
you know what what they were gonna do you know so i love the um idea and like the the not the idea but the this scene about houses about things like that i, I honestly have never heard of them uh uh prior to this i uh i know about you know them calling some people that they they uh got together with uh they called mother you know and they the found family that those concepts i do know about but not about houses specifically one person you know putting a house uh to help kids in need or to help other uh people in need you know of house of of a family of, of a support system you know uh and also it deals with you know the the what it was HIV back then as well, you know. Um, so I honestly I loved this episode, and I feel like it's just touching a few things that will they will explore more during the season. So to me, that is just fantastic. I love this war between the houses in the balls, and and I love the you know all of that. It's 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 honestly amazing. Uh, and it just brings that side of you that, you know, um, it, it's just so, I don't know, it's so unique to the experience of being LGBT when you are with your peers, when you are, you know, in a place where, you know, you might get judged by <laughs> other things, by the way you dress, by, you know, normal things, but never look down in the way uh, of who you are as a person, who you love, how you decide to uh, express your gender and your sexuality or whatever it is. Um, and that sense of community is so beautiful, you know. Um, and I have experienced it as well uh, in many, many times, not just, you know, in a gay club or something like that, but uh, just the sense of community is just, it, it's it's beautiful, you know. Despite our differences, sometimes I think we can all agree on that. And I, you know, I, as a bisexual woman, uh, I have, uh, you know, done my fair share, not enough, I feel, uh, now, since I didn't know about this type of scenes and all of that, uh, fair share of uh, research in some aspects. I'm not saying, oh my god, I know everything about everything, about gay culture and all of that. I don't. I still, like, I think we all learn every single day something new, you know? Um, but I do know how, you know, due to transgender women, especially uh, transgender women of color, uh there are they have done so much for that com for the community you know and they continue doing all of us in a way but you know back then it was really much about the transgender community transsexual community really really advocating for the rights the rights that now even though it's still hard we have come a long way as well, you know, and also is due to the community that, you know, HIV uh, was uh, taking more seriously because when it was just about, you know, gay people dying, they didn't care, they didn't put a budget to it until, you know, there was more protests and at the forefront there were our uh, transgender women of color right there fighting for it, you know, because people were dying and no one was doing anything about it, you know, um, and it's, it's, it's a really sensitive subject. I understand that, but it's so something that I feel like everyone, you know, should know about because it's part of our culture. It's part of why, you know, if we, if you see where we were, back then where we are right now and we know where we need to get but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for for them so it's in no way we have to ignore or just try to like separate that letter in our ever-growing uh acronym right 
you know, it's, it's, it's impossible without looking back and seeing the sacrifices that other people made. Um, the uh, community and the uh, scene, let's just say in a way, just to put some words to it, uh, from uh, that to what it probably was here in my country, I'm guessing it was completely different. I don't have a, a reference to it uh, because if, if it was bad for you guys, back then, and if it's still back, bad for you guys still this day, it's even worse in, in underdevelopment countries like the one I live in, you know? And my only point of, uh, I don't know, just to try to compare things uh, or to try to understand a little bit better how it might have been back then, it was my uncle. You know, and back then I didn't have even information growing up. My uncle was, and honestly, I till this day I wouldn't know what to call him because I know he used to do uh, cross dressing, but uh, like, but I don't know. He he doesn't present like he used to do that. I feel like in the night when he was in the in a club or something like that. Uh, I never saw him like dressing as, as a woman. I saw pictures of him, yes. Uh, that he hid in his room. And since I was a very curious girl, I used to like look for it and see what was the, why did my grandfather hate him so much, you know? It was due to that. Uh, but my grandmother was a little bit more strong in the sense that my, gran my grandfather, uh, wasn't able to kick him out like he wanted, you know? Um, and, and you know, I I talk about this, but I, I had, I, like, till this day, I can, I can say he's a gay man, but I don't know if that is the correct label that he used. I have no idea. Uh, because he also uses a, a, a woman's name to refer to himself with his when he's with his friends but with his family he's still so i don't know i don't know it, it's something that in in my family they don't talk about they don't it's like it's there but we don't talk about it, it has always been like that you know and i do want to point out and this will come only from my experience uh and also living in the country i live in which is a very religious country i live in peru which most latin american countries are very religious uh, the thing is that, you know, just like the, the mom said in this episode when she was kicking uh, Damon out, you know, you have to regret your sins and things like that. And sometimes, you know, for parents as well, it's a little bit less now. People are a little bit more willing to fight society. But society tells you that. Society tells you that you as a father, if you have a gay son, a lesbian daughter, bisexual, trans whatever it is that you fall under uh, uh, in that community, you know, uh, that you did something wrong. It's so embedded in, in, in parents as well uh, that you did something wrong. You made a mistake, you know, and in that sense, you feel ashamed because society tells you that that is wrong. You know, society tells you that that is something that is not normal, you know, and I think that uh, for... Again, I cannot speak for, for, for him, for my uncle, uh, but, and for my grandfather, I never really, I had a really wonderful relationship with my grandfather, but I was never able to like talk to him. But we are talking about someone who, has, who was born in the 1920s, you know? He was born in 1920, I think he was born in 1920, and my grandmother was born in 1925, if I'm not wrong. Uh, can you imagine back then? Of course, it was so forbidden. It was so... And according to my mom, my uncle was always like that, you know? Um, and my grandfather just hated that. My grandfather could be the best grandfather, provider, father, everything to everyone else. But he just couldn't handle the fact that his son was, you know, gay or whatever it, it, he is. Um, he couldn't handle it, you know, and, and back then it was even worse than what it is in the 80s. And my, my uncle suffered a lot 
for it, you know? And um, I just feel like, you know, uh, we do tend to judge these people for just, you know, oh, Mike, how can you do, of course, how can you do that to your son, you know? But it also is in the, in, in the way how society affects uh, the, the, the vision of what is good and what is bad, you know? Uh, so I in no way will, you know, uh, say that they, the, the parents have no fault in this. And I'm saying like that the parents of all these people have no fault in this. No, it's, it's also, it's a very important factor that society plays a role in this parents' decisions sometimes of, of not supporting their kids. And like, I hate when parents go ahead and say like, do you know how much I, I like, I, I, I raised you like this and I'm making sacrifices for you. Well, a ki as a kid, you don't ask to be born and you have, it's your duty to provide for said kid, you know? So it's not like you're doing anyone a favor. Is you decided to do this, you're responsible for it, you know? Um, so I hated that. I hated the way they treated Damon. I hated it just, you know, it, it was worse than just kicking out a dog out of your house. It was just awful, awful. Um, but I do understand how it was back then, you know, and it's terrible. It's just terrible. I love Blanca. Blanca. I love her. I love how powerful, strong she is, uh, and and the level of understanding, and also the the fact that she is so supportive of Damon. I believe that is not so much. Of course, she wants to win uh, a trophy, make a name for herself. Of course, but. You don't do that only for a trophy, you know. You don't go there and bear your soul for a person, stay on the side of the uh, of the street waiting for the news. You don't celebrate just for that, you know. And I love that moment, you know. I love that because it's just so powerful, you know. She just find, found out that she has HIV and she wants to leave a mark. She wants to do what it was done for her, she wants to pass it on. She doesn't want to just be that state like that. No, she wants to, she can affect one life. She wants to do that. And I love, love that. I love that. Uh, I don't know if, if till this day there are, the, the, there is still things like this that people do that. Uh, hopefully there is. I, I never knew about it, to be honest, but it, it honestly, it was just so, so freaking beautiful to see that it was it was amazing and damon of course he's talented and he deserves the work he deserves a chance he like it's so simple as that as, as that he deserves a chance and i'm glad that you know even though you're his family the one he was born into decided to not support him uh but he now has you know the the family that he's making with this uh, people, you know, they are there to support him, to celebrate with him, to cry with him, to worry with him. I just, I love that. I absolutely love that. Uh, so yeah, overall, and of course you have the other subjects and other uh, storylines with even Peters and with Angel. Uh, I just hope that he doesn't do anything bad to her. Uh, Cause you know, cause cause even has played like crazy characters. And that's why I'm worried. But I know it's not even, and he's not. It's not like his his characters. I know, I know that. But like you worry, I worry because he's you know the white man, uh, who I think he's you know the internalized homophobia, you know, uh, and the fact that he cannot act on his feelings and that he's living a lie at his home. He might care about the the, the this woman, but it's not real for him, you know. Uh, so I, I worry about her. Um, so we have that as well. But honestly, it was just, it, it was an amazing, amazing episode. Billy, I mean, he's a king. What, what can I say? It was just magnificent to see him in his element and just, it was amazing. It, it was an amazing, amazing first, first episode. And it only has eight episodes, so that means it's good quality content that I'm ready for it. So... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited to continue. When is it that I'm going to watch the next episode? Thursday for Patreon. I don't know when for, um, 
for YouTube, just check the schedule, because uh, I probably have it already scheduled for it. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Kiana, Kiana, yo, James, here on, on Patreon for supporting me, for loving my reactions enough that you decided to uh, pledge for the entire first season of, of Pose. Uh, I hope that everybody else enjoys them, and yeah. Thank you so much. So give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Pose. If you want more, give it a lot of thumbs up. Subscribe for more, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon to watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time for more reaction videos for Pose. Yes. Bye.